Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome to Java Express Academy. Guys, we are going to start new course, real-time Java project from today onwards, March 5th at 9 p.m. IST. Okay, if you are struggling to build a real-time Java project, in this course, I will teach you real-time Java project from the scratch here, guys. This project is used for the job readiness and your industry needs as well. Okay, I am going to discuss in detail project architecture. What are the modules I am covering throughout the course? I am explaining to you guys. Okay, before going to start the question, who are eligible to take this course? Who should join this course? Okay, lot of students are asking a normal questions. Just those questions I captured here so that you, it depend on these questions, you will have some idea. You know Core Java. Can I attend means you are not eligible, guys. First point. Second, you know prior experience with the spring. Then are you able to do means now also you are not eligible. You should have a strong knowledge. Spring Boot and REST API, then you are eligible to take this course. Who can join course means freshers, Java developers, backend engineers, everyone can join. But you have a prerequisite knowledge you should have. Java, Spring Boot should be required here. Now, a lot of students are asking, if I take this course, if I enroll in real-time Java project, will I get a Spring Boot and REST API videos? Yes, you will get from the scratch, from the Spring Boot knowledge and REST API and Data JPA. All those videos you will get with free of cost, guys. Okay, then you are eligible to take this course. So you need to decide you are under uh, where, I mean, whether you know prerequisites or not. Some students are asking, I will take the course, but I will not attend live sessions because I don't know anything about Spring Boot and REST API. Yes, you can take, but you need to start from the scratch. Then only microservices project you can easily understand here. Okay, these are all some kind of a uh, normal basic questions for everyone is asking guys. Already I am highlighting prerequisite for this course, Spring Boot and REST API development. So how many days this course? Guys, this course especially build 30 to 35 days uh, online live training. It is kind of a paid training here. It is going to start from today. We have only four seats are left, guys. Almost enrollments are about to close. If really, if you are interested, is uh, you want to learn and you want to be expert in microservices if you want to familiar with the tools and everything this is the best course for you guys okay so after this course what are the things after completing the course you will get a complete source code interview guide as well and real world i mean to say project development how it is there everything we will be demonstrate you as well okay and this is our contact number and guys please subscribe our channel to get any updates guys okay so this is our whatsapp number this is our email id this is our youtube channel if you see this is our java express is our youtube channel guys okay now let me start about the project overview okay so just read this point guys project overview okay some students are asking where i can enroll this course okay in the video we will give a link enrollment link guys so javaexpressacademy.com this is our website here we have a course live sessions spring boot whoever purchased this course okay you can able to watch all these videos and microservices today where we are going to start from march 5th those videos are available here guys once you are enrolled you will receive meeting details uh, telegram group all the details everything is available here only guys okay this is our enrollment link we will keep this link in our description box as well if you have any queries you can ask to our admin team just drop a message in whatsapp they will help you as well if you are facing any problem okay yeah now let me start about the project overview Okay, it's very important to watch till end of the course. Why? Because what are the modules, what I'm covering, everything is available here only. 
okay so this e-commerce micro service application development is provide to design scalable and efficient architecture using spring boot java and rest api to containerize we are using docker and a kubernetes here various design patterns will be implemented to enhance modularity maintainability fault tolerance here this is a high level description for the project overview here and visual elements just i highlighted few visual elements uh, in our architecture microservices breakdown user microservice product order payment shipping favorite gateway okay number of microservices we have in terms of architectural flow api gateway eureka fin client circuit breaker database and a kubernetes also and docker and technology stack Spring Boot, Java, REST API, Docker, Kubernetes, Prometheus, Grafana, JWT, and Zipkin as well. This is about technology stack okay, and visual elements here. What is the key outcome of this course? If you take this course, what will be the main points you can do? You can able to build corporate level e-commerce application and you can get hands-on experience on these modules. And you can learn about Kubernetes as well, Kubernetes PVC advanced concepts as well. And by using Prometheus and Grafana, you can monitor the application and end-to-end -end architecture. And you can build security also for your projects as well. End-to-end -end development skills, everything you can learn in this course. Just what are the technologies I'm using just I mentioned here, guys. Okay. Now, coming to architectural diagram. If you see, uh, I have a diagram, are able to see, it looks like a small, but once you divide your project into microservices, number of components will be included here. Now, those components are, we are taking one example, e-commerce. Now, everyone well aware, well aware about e-commerce application, same example I'm going to take as well. Here, we have a gateway layer, we have a proxy client and these are all kind of a e-commerce modules here. See, uh, favorite product, shipping, order, payment, user, audit and all microservices as individual databases as well. And end of the project, we are going to deploy on Kubernetes cluster where we are using the Docker for each and every microservice. And even we are using audit microservice, we are using another database called MongoDB. To monitor all the services are running, we are using Prometheus and Grafana as well. And we are using Eureka server and Zipkin as well. And this is the whole flow outcome of the course. You can able to see this diagram, dependency diagram, which all the components are talking to each other and everything here. And if you see if the same, whatever we are discussing, all the components we are mentioned, user microservice, product micros, detail, each and every microservice importance, even I'm going to discuss now, have a look here. And here, order microservice, payment, favorite, and shipping. Eureka server, service discovery for microservice architecture. Fiend client, communication between the microservices. API gateway for e-commerce, like it's an entry point for our application. Circuit breaker, distributed tracing, monitoring, and dockerizing our application, deploying Kubernetes, proxy client, and final project review and deployment here. These are the 16 modules are available. It may take training 30 to 35 days and max guys. Okay, we, can we able to complete this? Yes, each microservice if you take two days. Now we have a 16 concepts. Two days, 16 to 32 days, right? Now, if you are well aware about two microservices, remaining all are dead easy for you as well. Now, coming to the user microservice, what are the components? It is main. User microservice is the core component in architecture as a, if any real-time application without user, 
there is no application itself only so this user microservice responsibility is kind of a registration authentication and cloud operations by following user data address information and credentials information like uh, whenever you are making a user registration you can have a first name last name email id phone number and user can have a multiple addresses also right user can have multiple addresses one to many relationship and user can have a credential information username password role based authority where we can handle one to one relationship as well and when you have credentials role based means either user either admin then security will come to the picture here where we can handle security at the gateway layer to implement security for all the components here these are the minimum crowd operations here we are following one of the pattern dto pattern data transfer object here it's very very important pattern that is about the user microservice functionality here okay now the second called product microservice product microservice mainly for whom if it is a e-commerce if user want to purchase a product means product should be available right in flipkart or amazon so vendors are responsible to create the product so product microservice is responsible for managing the products and categories in e-commerce application vendors can create update delete and retrieve products while ensuring data consistency like a vendor specifically vendor is responsible to handle product and category here like category means mobile is a category and we have a lot of mobile phones exist in the same pattern dto we will use for the uh, implementation of this design pattern as well this is about the product microservice then coming to order once you purchase a product lot of other functionalities also involved the main target is order to who can order user mapped to the order product mapped to the order and payment also mapped to the order as well okay customer orders and here managing the customer orders and cart operation e-commerce application so user can place the order from the cart multiple orders can link to the single cart we need to support the cloud operations as well like order fee order date description when it is happened everything here that is about order microservice now second payment microservice payment means it's not like a third party payment it is kind of a, a dummy uh, normal microservice how to handle this kind of operations when you are ui integrated then payment is the best option where you can integrate as well okay so payment is responsible for processing the payments for e-commerce microservice application it's where we can do user can make payment for their orders we need to link payment to specific order and we can allow the crowd operations as well that is about the payment microservice and a favorite once user is purchased the product he can review the comments right in bottom of the e-commerce or flipkart you can provide a reviews also so here we need to add product to a favorite like operation you are able to do right reviews is a different but like operation or unlike operation if you are interested in this product we need to retrieval removal and track based on the date when you done that is about the favorite microservice responsibility then once you have a basic fundamental functionalities are available then we have a plan about eureka server it's a eureka server is nothing but service discovery for microservices architecture why means it is mainly a key component in architecture that enables service discovery and dynamic registration what are the services you created everything we can discover and communicate with each other without hard coding services urls here where different kind of functionalities are available registration and discovery load balancing and high availability these three are the main important things here once you handle eureka server all the services will be registered in the eureka here so that the communication is easy if you are registered into the eureka here as well that is about the eureka server and we just we added as a diagram you can able to see load balancing i mean to say you can run user microservice with multiple port numbers product microservice with multiple up to our requirement that is kind of a load balancing here 
client side load balancing we used to call here if any service is down it will be removed from the registry ensure that traffic is only go to healthy instances as well that is about the eureka server and fiend client communication it's kind of a once you develop individual micro service now when you make an order okay order is mapped to payment order is mapped to user now i need to make a communication between the details how you can make communication that is about the fiend client communication for all the micro services here like fetching the user details fetching the product details okay we need to fetch the product details from user survey all kind of communications we can use for the fiend client communication here then coming to api gateway it's kind of a entry point even if you develop all the services we need to make an entry for each and every spring boot application right so we need to make a routing okay and we need to implement security circuit breaker all the things we should be handle at the cloud gateway level real time we may have a commercial product as well now this is the so here we are using api gateway all the request will go to proxy and here it will uh, communicate between each other when you are performing this activity if the service is down then how to handle that is about the circuit breaker implementation in gateway layer any failures are happen resiliency 4j any detecting failures any fallback responses everything we can take in care in the cloud gateway level as well okay everyone know individual concepts once you combine all the modules at one place you will see the beauty of the project here guys okay then distributed tracing whenever you are making an api request the request can travel from number of microservices how you can track how to debug that to handle by using the trace id that is concept called distributed tracing with jipkin in microservices one of the challenging and it will be identify any bottlenecks or any failures and everything here and monitoring even if you are running hundreds of services you need to monitor your service is running or not how to identify using prometheus and grafana the real time data will be do once everything is ready to deploy your application into the cloud without docker we cannot perform we have every micro services a docker file using this we can convert our micro services into docker images and then to deploy into kubernetes we are using containerization in our local environment only we can do this activity not only in the cloud also cloud we are not teaching right now it's not a devops part right so if you aware about in the local environment cloud environment is dead easy why because setup infrastructure setup taken care by the devops team not about developers okay once Uh, infrastructure is ready we can do the same practice everywhere so like a production ready here we can containerize the services configuring kubernetes set up ping pvcs and everything we can handle deploying micro services as well on database persistence as well here okay by using pvcs we can handle individual databases as well once everything is ready end of the last one week of course we are going to discuss about security jwt authentication authorization role based access control if you have admin then only you can able to allow if you are a user then only you can able to create a product all the handle we can able to do by using the proxy client microservice here by using this we can implement security in our project as well now this is the final overview this is our a jipkin dashboard and this is a kubernetes gui dashboard how many parts are running how many replica sets are running everything we can handle and grafana dashboard and kubernetes deployment all the things we can lot of things you will be learn in this course even if you are a old student new student course is common for everyone okay just you need to enroll your if you want to attend live sessions then enroll the course here the link will be given in the description box if you are facing any payment issues or anything just you can connect with our admin team they will help you here guys see this is our contact number this is our email id subscribe our channel and today evening we are going to start from the first module about user microservice as well okay 
so that's all for today's session thank you thank you very much guys we'll see you in the in classroom thank you